Hello, welcome back to a new post today. And let's continue with the July 20th, the most important points that you need to keep track of the UPSC Civil Services Examination of Prelims. And the very first issue is about the Commission on Prevention of Crime and Criminal Justice, which was established by the Economic and Social Council Resolution of 1992 uh, upon the request of the General Assembly. And uh, one of the main, so the 33rd Commission of the Crime Prevention and Criminal Justice was held in Vienna. And the Commission contributes to the implementation of the, two, uh, of the 2020 Sustainable Development Agenda. It has 40 member states which are elected by the Economic and Social Council and it is chaired by a Bureau. Now, the Commission guides the UN in the field of crime prevention and criminal justice and it also develops policy on crime through resolution and decisions as well along with standards and norms as well as the thematic discussions. Now, it is a preparatory body to the United Nations Crime Congress and the declaration adopted by the Congress transmitted through the crime and criminal prevention uh, justice uh, which was held recently uh, is for endorsement by the uh, Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. The next most important is about the generalized system of preferences. So number two is the generalized system of preferences. Now it is the largest and the oldest US trade preference program and designed to promote economic development by allowing duty free entry of thousands of products designated from the beneficiary countries and India has been one of the beneficiary of this. It is an umbrella that comprises the bulk of preferential schemes by the industrialized nations to developing countries. It involves reduced most favored nations tariff or duty-free entry of eligible products exported by the beneficiary countries to the market of the donor countries and established by Trade Act of 1974, the general system of preferences promotes economic development by eliminating duties on thousands of products uh, imported from one of the 119 uh, designated countries and territories. So this was about the uh, general system of preferences. Uh, the other most important is about Japan International Cooperation Agency. It is a government agency of Japan and coordinates official development assistance which has benefited India as well. So it coordinates its official development uh, uh, assistance for the government of Japan and this has been partnering with the government of India and various state governments as well for poverty elevation investment promotion infrastructure development uh, for almost 60 years so we have a very very long uh, as, uh, i mean cooperation with the japanese international cooperation agency and uh, it is just not limited to it is now working also on the delhi mumbai industrial corridor as well and other initiatives in the northeastern region uh, along with working with india in the free and open indo pacific as a part of quad and uh, this is the next most issue that you need to remember for july 20th and the other one is about the scheme to promote manufacturing of electric passenger cars in India. Tesla's entry in India is expected to once again open the window for applications under the scheme for promoting manufacturing of electric passenger cars in India and the government approved the scheme on March 15. The window for application to the scheme was open for 120 days. The companies have to commit to a minimum at least of dollar 500 million investment to set up a new plant in India under the scheme and it can start manufacturing in the next three years with the minimum domestic value of 25 percent by the third year and 50 percent by the fifth year therefore promoting the growth of domestic industries as well so this scheme was approved in march 2024 and the most important issue which i wanted to uh, discuss with you today is about uh, the global tiger uh, day uh, international tiger day being celebrated in july on july 29th we have 54 tiger reserves and the last one to be added was durgavati in madhya pradesh if you look at the states which have the highest uh, Tiger Reserves in India. It is Madhya Pradesh with 6, you have Maharashtra with 6, you have uh, Karnataka with 6, Tamil Nadu with 6 and in the northeastern state the maximum is in Assam. In Assam we have the uh, the regions or the national parks like Manas, Nameri, Kaziranga and Orang. So number of tigers, India hosts 70% of the global tigers and we are a part of the 13 tiger age countries as well. Apart from that many of Pench and uh, Sultanpur uh, tiger reserve in uh, Madhya Pradesh have gone international recognition as well and last year in 2023 we celebrated uh, 50 years of Project Tiger which was launched by the then Prime Minister Indira Gandhi and also in the very uh, previous year we had the Wildlife Protection Act that was brought about to protect the various flora and fauna of India. It has six schedule and schedule one species are the highly protected species in India as well. 
So the next issue is about the uh, Quad. So the uh, the Indo-Pacific Initiative for uh, Maritime Domain Awareness was in news recently. It was approved by Quad during Quad grouping that consists of India, Japan, Australia, and US in Tokyo Summit in 2022. Now it aims at monitoring dark shipping. So what exactly is dark shipping? Dark shipping is a term that is used in import and export or in international shipping routes, which describes a vessel as one which is operating without an automatic identification system or which is turned off. So once the automatic identification system which acts like a transponder is turned off, the ship at sea cannot be identified and also cannot be located by the nearby port or the maritime authorities. This can also lead to piracy and theft in the seas and Indo-Pacific region being a very highly traffic region with regard to important sea lanes of communication, the Quad grouping has now decided to set up uh, to, uh, to uh, implement the Indo-Pacific Maritime Domain Awareness to increase the uh, to uh, to protect the sea lanes of communication especially in indo-pacific and also uh, with regard to uh, helping the partners with developing of technology for monitoring of the maritime sea lanes of communication. So these are the most important issues which I wanted to discuss with you for July 20th. If you did like, please do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to comment at the end of the video. And let's meet tomorrow for another most important issue that is with July 21st. Most important issues that you need to keep track for the UPSC examination. And until then, it's very happy learning.